And I think that the next slide is something that you would maybe like to explain to them. Mm. Um, let's have a look at our whiteboard. And I can explain one or two things. Um, one of the current, um, over here, one of the current examples that they will get and that is used to explain evolution is the pepper bark moth. Now, in Wales, we've got the coal mines. We had the coal mines in the 18 and early 1900s. And the homes were all covered in soot, and the black dust of the coal mines. Now, the moths were white. So now the birds, there's the bird with its wings. Oh, it's not a very healthy looking bird. But anyway, there the bird is. If the bird flies and he sees this moth, he can pick it off and the moth will die. Now we had, as the result of a mutation, a moth with more dark spots. And this moth was not so visible. If you take this dark moth compared to a light one, which one is going to be more visible to the bird? The light one. It will die. It will be eaten. Who's going to survive to have the babies? The spotted one. Mm -hmm. So that's what evolution is. So this one would survive. This one would have the babies. <coughs> and all the babies in a few generations' time would be spotted dark gray. And of the white ones, no sign left. And it was simply by chance. Nobody decided that we wanted to have dark spots. It was a mutation. But with good luck, the mutation was beneficial. And that is an important concept. Yeah. I think we have referred to this. Just remember, natural selection occurs because some, some individuals survive better than others. And because they reproduce, their traits are better. Right. Um, it is important that you know that any characteristic that can be an improvement to enable the individual to survive will be part of the genome. Um, if there are any bad traits, they might have an influence, but in nature, in most cases, mm. it will be not necessarily good. We can't say it is good, but beneficial. In other words, those that enable better survival will be the ones that will be transferred.